I decided to do my very first challenge and I chose Nick the Booksmith uh, challenge I'm on, landing on a deserted island and we got there with four things so we had four given and then we had to choose four things we were given paper scissors and I chose the small pair because I thought I could do some intricate cutting if I needed to. We were given glue. I'd run out of my normal glue, so I've tried this one very first time, but it was actually okay. And needle and thread. Now I chose the yellow embroidery thread to sew the signatures in, but I thought I could also use it to sew on pages and add colour, because I knew we wouldn't have much in the way of colour on the pages. And my first choice for my f was a pen because I wanted this journal to be written in every day. It was going to be a log. It wouldn't end up being an empty journal but a filled in one. Plus I could decorate the pages. I chose 12 by 12 scrapbook in card which I have absolutely no pieces left. So you'll see them in the book. And we've got a tiny bit of 12 by 12 fabric I used which also had birds on and then I used some ink and I think my ink was a bit of a mistake it wasn't thought through very well because I wanted to add colour and yet I chose the one that's also so green matching the fabric so that took my colour down to one less really but hey ho this is the finished journal. The outer cover, all the way round, is just paper. Um, I didn't want to use any scrapbooking card because I wanted to cut that up to try and add some colour onto the pages. So I thought I'll just use the paper and wrap it around. It's not terribly thin paper. I did add fabric all the way up to there because that's the only bits I could spare because I used it a lot on the pages but I did pick a bit with the birds on I called it my coconut adventure which had come apparent inside the journal the back is just inked try and shade it a little bit with the ink and I did paper wrapped around the one signature it's just been sewn in it's not hidden binding like I usually do from watching Nick's course from doing Nick's course it shows you how to do hidden binding it's really good I recommend that um so I did throw stitching up there just to break the green up a tiny bit and that's what it looks like from the side all raggedy papers the inside I've got nothing left to decorate the inside of the cover but it's got shaded green ink and again faux stitching and that's exactly the same on the back page some extra folded paper stuck down here before I sewn in just to try and give it some strength all the pages have some kind of stitching or pen, um, stitching lines or different shapes all going around the edges all the pages have been ripped and torn and not all but some of the pages have got little tabs on the journal goes from day by day of what's happened each day i won't read it all because it would probably take too long but the first one is just saying she's going to make this journal her book her diary and now my companion because that's what she's got now left to write him. Day two, she just explains what she's found and she's been exploring and she's kind of found somewhere to settle down. She doesn't know for how long. So she drew on a map. So I made a pocket, tried to decorate it with pen. Again, all the pages have been inked. She's made a a map of kind of where she's camped out in. She's drawn a house wishing it was home. I can't draw um, to save my life. 
but I don't think that really matters because she's in the dents of a deserted island writing on bits of paper that she's got and is wet and ruined and ragged. So that's map one. She has a strange feeling that she's not alone and she can't shake that feeling. And she actually says that on day three. I have a strange feeling about this place, a very strange feeling of being watched. And then this is where I start introducing the birds, <clears throat> the thread to add some yellow colour. I don't know if it's picking it up very well on here, but it is. And then I keep trying to add splashes of colour throughout the pages just to stop it looking too green. And again, another decorated page with uh, splashes of colour. And some of the pages have things written around the edges. This one says, feeling so alone. Um, she's managed to fish because she's realised that all she's got to eat is coconuts. And she says, I have managed to spear a fish and she's very excited about that but she realizes she can't just sit there she's got to move on a tag was made from fabric and the card and again decorated with a pen splashes of yellows to represent rocks and streams and the mess on the floor of a kind of jungle type island really but mostly to add a splash of color to the page same again on this one. Matt does lift up. And on this one she's saying that where she's moved on to is much the same as the last one, but she's too far away to fish now. So I think it's going to be uh, coconuts that she's going to have to survive on. And she goes, I've got to try and make this into a venture to stop her going crazy. This is an extra booklet put in the book here, just full of empty pages. And try to do some kind of decoration with the fabric and the thread. And on this one, she's saying now she's been walking for hours. She's completely fed up with eating coconut. Please help me, I can't eat another coconut. But she's very intrigued because she really feels someone's been here before because she's fell upon a shelter that's already kind of been done. And she's done a map, which I've put in the belly band, of the new place where she's made some kind of camp. So there's map two. With the stream in the hills and at the top. Uh, coconut trees she did find a cross in some very dense side of the woods so she's keeping a note and tracks of all, all the places she's made camping and she said that today she had very strange things happening because she keeps finding bits of paper with numbers and letters on and so I'm still trying to add some flashes of colour which is cut out of the bird's tails and I made a drawstring bag because that's where she's kept all the bits of paper that she finds along the way because she knows that there may come a time when she might have to try and fit them all together because she keeps finding bits of paper but she's not sure what it all means as yet. I'll put them back in a minute. Again, another decorated page with birds on. There's a little saying under there. She was saying here she was not ex expecting to find an unmarked grave. And she's saying, the question is, where is everyone? Where are they now? Time to move on. But which way? I have been going west. I think I'm going to try north. So she's going to change her whole direction. But she's desperately trying to find some somebody or a way off the island. And day nine, she's getting very worried and anxious. And she has a very big unease about the place. She just feels like someone has been around. 
and she's wondering is anybody missing me yet are they out looking for me but more importantly where are all the others this is like just being lost except I'm alone and then she goes on to talk about how back at home she'd always wanted me time but right now she'd love the hustle and bustle of other people she moves on again on day 10 and she's been walking for hours but she's come in a spot which seems to be full of birds which are so loud that you couldn't possibly stop there so it has made her keep going and she's found more bits of paper with more writing on but she says she has plenty of time here now to sit and sort it out and one thing she mentioned is how beautiful the birds are they may be noisy, but they are beautiful. And she's put all the pieces of paper in this envelope. So we've got more bits of paper in here. Now this, what I did in here, is I actually wrote it all out. And if it comes together, if you stick it together, it comes as one. But I ripped it all up, which will come apparent at the end. And um, the pocket is just some fabric. And again, words jotted down around the edges. Homesick, isolated, lonely. So it's just jotting things down in thought. On the middle ties, I put some uh, fabric on the ends. On this page, on page 11, she has found a new spot to stay at and it's bright and peaceful, even though it's further in. But she says, I've still only got coconuts to eat, but there's not as many. And in this section, there's no shelter. So she's hoping to try and be able to build something or wrap herself up in leaves of something. And then she hears a very loud noise as she's writing so she stops writing and just writes oh my goodness and on this page I've used the thread to make some X's at the top sewn on some paper then stuck it on and sewn round to make a journal card and that's why I wanted to use the yellow thread that is um, just the paper and the ink Tried to cut it out to try and make some patterns down there. Tried to add some colour to the pages. It's coming very green. And she realises the bang on day 12. She's writing about the loud bang that she'd heard the day before was a flare. So she's now positive that there is somebody else here. And she feels the flare is not too far. And she's just hoping that someone somewhere is doing a search for her. And she just wants to scream, I'm here. And she's feeling really down. So I decorated the next page with a feeling of everything just running down. Just to represent how bad her mood is. And there's an envelope here. Decorated with just scraps now of the material. And it opens out. So you've got a long piece of paper both sides that can be written on and she's going on now on day 13 now she's such a dirty mess but she don't want to bathe in the only part of drinking water she don't want it to mix only seeing what's around the drinking water that she keeps finding in the streams she's amazed she's still standing she did find some cloth in some bushes and if she could find some more she would probably make a top because her top is so raggedy now. She's worried that the time she's ever found she'll be back to her bare body. And on this side is some little journaling cards and they go up in size, but down in size or up in size that way. So you get to the first one is small. So I did three, covered three slots in the fabric and then three slots in the card. And again, all the pages still decorated around the outside. 
more sayings down the page I'm learning about me a decorated page again with birds and a little uh, tuck spot thing put a tiny bit of journaling card because I wanted to really get that flash of pink in to try and bring some aliveness to the pages and on page 14 she's really feeling like there's somebody else quite close and she keeps hearing sounds not island sounds but people sounds or actually is this a sign of her going mad in day 15 she's done nothing but sleep today and it could be a combination of the food lack of food the heat and the amount of walking she's done and she explains how bad night time is and she says and my lack of coconuts now because i have no longer have coconut trees here oh what i'd give for a hot drink some hot food fish chips and mushy peas and she goes on oh, she can just about smell the chip shop and she says no i need to go i need to get up and go i'm going mad smelling chip shops in the jungle and again some sewing using the thread and a double tag and some notes under there saying do your best today and you'll be a hard person to beat tomorrow and on day 16 she's talking to the journal now saying you've been my friend for the last 16 days and I fear confusion might start to overwhelm me and this horrible eat. I cannot take any more. I don't even know the date or the day. I have no idea why I'm here. All I know is I'm so scared. And she's going back out at the beginning of the journal. She said she was going to make an adventure, but now she's just so tired and so hungry and so lonely. And she wants to know why she's trapped here. And was she unconscious? She feels like she's going unconscious again. And she's giving herself a hard talking to, saying, no, stop thinking like this. I can't keep being negative, so she makes a plan. So it's a long tuck spot there. Lift that up just to, which helps hold it in. And she's made a plan. My plan to find others and get home, head south, drink fresh water when can, look for more coconuts. Never thought I'd say that. Find shade, because she needs to keep in the shade. And keep making notes to keep my mind busy. And she really needs to wash when she can. On day 17, she feels like she's walked into a bit of paradise. Because in this place, she's found coconuts, not many. But at last, she's got coconuts. So she's got some heat. She's found some water. She's got coconuts. She's got some colourful birds, but not all of them. So that's nice. And there is shelter. So she's feeling a bit happier today. And she's made another map of where she is. So this is where she is on her map three camp. Only one coconut tree, but at least she's found some food. So there's a map which is made note on along the way and a decorated page again to try and give it some colours to represent things on the floor like stones and rocks and flowers and the bird flying around because there's not so many but there is some. And day 18, she actually sits and starts to put the pieces of paper together that she's found. And it's, she's managed to put it all together. It isn't making much sense. But one thing she has noticed, it does give some kind of direction. And she decided that's what she's going to follow. And she says, one thing I now know, I'm not alone. And I'm getting closer to home, I hope. And on this page, there's a belly band and an envelope that's holding the note. So inside here is the note that she's put together 
from all those scrap pieces of paper. It says if you find this, you must be lost like I was because she's glued it all back together where it's been ripped. You need to go in a southwest direction, eat nothing but coconuts and don't pick the red berries because they're, and that's as much as she could put together. So that's her note. So that's what she does. And we come to the last page. And she says, I never felt this day would come, but I'm sitting here fed, washed and feeling safe for the first time in what seems like months, but it's only 19 days. From finding the notes, I did my best just to keep walking in a southwest direction. And to me, I walked into paradise. It was a hub of makeshift huts, campfires and people, yes, friendly people, who welcomed me. I felt so relieved and shocked. I had so many questions. But first they insisted I wash, eat and sleep. So my friend, my companion, I sit here now writing in you, all refreshed amongst friendly people, ready to find answers. I may not be home, but I'm one step closer. So this journal is actually being used each day to mark her path to be getting off the island she got deserted on. <laughs>